don't worry. I'm not gonna scare you like I did before. I know some someone literally said they spit their drink out because I terrified. I am so sorry. It was just Mono, what? Hello? You remind me of like Moto Moto from like Madagascar 2. Anyway, hello everybody. It's me. Welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, you might be wondering what the heck is a Bengalox doing behind me? You know, funnily enough, this is actually a showcase that I was going to do today. And then someone requested it, which I thought was just hilarious. That someone requested the thing I was going to be showcasing. I forgot who it was, but they wanted me to showcase a Starbreaker doodle, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Here, I got Lethal Ornament with attack plus speed. We have a bunch of, like, we have a bunch of speed tokens, because since, like, we're not gonna, we need to be super duper fast, because since we're a pre-evo, we're gonna need as much speed as we can. And you might be wondering, why are you not using Starbreaker Zapoera? Zapoera is different, because the hidden trait when you evolve Bengalox turns into Capoeira and not Galvanize, which... Galvanize turns your basic moves into spark type to do 30% more damage, which I think is really good for a trait because it basically gives you 80% stronger moves. And then when you go over to Bengalox here, we have Starbreaker, Quick Strike, Disarm, and Hit and Run. Basically, we only have electric type moves and flying type moves. Any electric type in general will probably just wall us. That is another reason why I decided to bring Rotera, a very good way to beat most electric types. And, um,. With Starbreaker, it's gonna it has it's basically 120 base power and is super strong. Along with priority is super good. We also get to pivot and we also get electro type disarm. The whole idea is that we're just supposed to be like we're gonna get one shot basically. Any like quad resistant move, we're probably gonna die. That's kind of the whole idea. I don't really know how I'm gonna get this on the field safely, but I'm going to try my freaking best. Um I was actually given a calc that this does let me let me see if i can if i can find it uh yeah uh a lot to skadeen it does 58 to 72 percent to a skadeen with a skadeen that has theater mask vial and a pizza slice so basically it's able to two it kill skadeen but realistically skadeen is never going to stay in anyway and then here with equipments, we're literally just going max possible speed as well as, as well as keeping our melee attack high. If you wanted to, you could place Amber Trap Fly for Potted Cactus. You could totally do that, but I don't actually have a Potted Cactus. I don't know where to find one, so <laughs> I'm assuming it's with the the lady, the cat cactus. That's what I'm assuming. But yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. And let's all see how strong Beng Bengalox can be. And let's hop into the first battle. All right, here we go into the first battle. Okay, why does literally everything you have equal an electric resist or an immunity? Literally, the only thing that I can hit with super effectively would be Swaptar. He has three crystal types of food. Ugh. Whatever. Uh, good luck. That was fun. All right, I'm gonna go Rotera. Because you're gonna go your Metal Light, your hit and run lead, huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I outspeed it. Nuclear missile. You know, taking this thing out would be nice immediately because then I don't have to really deal with it being able to outspeed and kill me. So I'm just gonna take this thing out immediately. Very, very nice. And I really only have Rotera here because it pairs well with Vengalox's weaknesses, being Earth and Crystal, which this thing is immune and resistant to. So yeah, that's the only reason I really have it. What savage blow kill? Am I dead? I'm alive. And that is something you have to be ha- It's dark chocolate. Hey, right. uh, let me hit and run then. Okay. Nuclear missile two. Okay. We can go, this is the only time we're ever going to be able to send Ben, ben Galox in and actually do damage. So, let's see. Let's -a go, Mario. One thing I would love is if they would add the equipments here. Like, I'd love it if they would add us being able to see equipments. This is such a quality of life change I would love. Um, Starbreaker. This is a super effective move, by the way. Which one-shots the Swap Dark. This is, no joke, the actual worst game I could have gotten. It, like, 
I understand that, like, four Earth types would be worse, but, like, this is actually, like, such a bad matchup for me. Like, right now, there is literally no reason to keep Bengalark alive. I can literally just sack it on any one of the things he sends in. Just see how much damage we get off. It should be nice anyway. Global warming, so he does. Exable. Jetpack. Let me see. Uh, you're 187. Ooh! Ooh! The 107 attack is very low, though. So, that's my only issue. What? Wait. Run that by me real quick. What? How, why did they do half? Listen, I understand Exival is, like, frail. Like, very. But... That should only be doing like 20%. Not gonna lie, I forgot it had a jetpack. That, but that won't kill me. Yeah. We just barely hang it on. Wave shot is not a very good offensive move. I only used it because I had to. I don't kill Endival yet. I need to get it. Okay, I would have killed that double. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get Frost Breath. I'm gonna go core you. Fun fact: Kona Cold's actually better because it does more damage. It may it may have a lower freeze rate, but you want more damage. Okay, they go for the switch. This should do a bit, right? A bit. Um, Mikone. Chemical breath, and I will go down there. I'm alive. Never mind. <laughs> I'm alive. Never mind. So I know that that is contagion because it actually diseased me. Unless it is sickly ooze, chemical breath, hidden trait. And that's also an option. So I could end up dying here, but I think it's fine. I could just end up going springling and leaf blading. Fun funnily enough, um, did you know that Endival used to be the go-to check for Springling? It was like, it was um, Monolog and and uh, Endival would be the checks to Springling. Because um, in Cop, I think Springling just completely ruled the Cop scene. From what I know of. That was a good battle. I'm top of the next one. Alright, and here we go. Into the second battle. Why did I get confused? I just did one. Um... Okay, the only issue with this one is that there is two electric resists, but everything else, actually there's, okay, so half the team we can't hit, but the other half gonna be hit pretty hard, I'm just saying. Um, I'm gonna go Rotera. My idea here with Hollow Hair is it's an earth and crystal resist, so I'm also able to use it to get free switches. I'm gonna hit and run, because I don't want to deal with the sumo. They could also just switch into monologue and then they don't have to deal with getting hit. I guess Bengalox itself is a really good lead because it's super duper quick. But my only issue is like rip current leads like uh, Abyssins, you know? That is not the switch, man. That is not the switch. Uh, I guess I can go core you now. Nothing really stops me. All right, and I can cone. Pretty much nothing sauce with this cone of cold. Now we can just take that thing out. That is one of the three things that can stop Bengalox. So now we just need him to go, uh, like freaking voltage chat. Oh my god! Come on, man. Let me kill you. Oh my god. Yep. Please fall out. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. It is not my fault. I'm so sorry, man. I mean, I don't know why you're not going sumo, but sure. Sumo would just be able to one-shot me with Swift Hook. Okay, that's fine. Um, I will take all the damage I got up to this point. I'll go Rotera. All I need to do now is kill the Monologue, which I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. I should not take that much damage. Yeah, I'm good. 
Let me hit and run. This should do a lot. Nice. Okay. Now, what are you going for? Oh, God. Um. Shoot, man. What is he clicking? I don't know. Henshin is like... This is weird. I'm gonna go into you. Oh, nice. Okay. I guess now... Um, I can mind empowerment, and if they decide to go monologue, then... Actually, if they do half here, I just think it's just winning me with Imperaflame. Hit me one more time. I'm curious on the damage Bengalox is going to do to Incinalisk. Now here, I know I've won the game, but my question is... Could I kill Monologue? Would he let me do that? That's my question. Because, in theory, if I can Chi Blast this, all I gotta do is switch out into, like, Hollow Hair and sack it, right? Yeah, I can do that now. I can just sack Hollow Hair, which will allow me to get my Star Breakers off, which I really am curious. Okay, I can just go Hollow Hair now. I sack it. Now, I understand I could have just bombed with Imperaflame, but the whole idea is to try to showcase Bengalox, and this is a point where I can actually use it, you know? Alright, but yeah, I can go down here. It doesn't really matter. I'll Kona Cold for a little bit of damage. Alright. I guess I could have just clicked Plant Sap just to see the raw damage that Starbreak could have done, but I think um, this will guarantee my kill in Sinless, and I can get a hit on the sumo so this i think is a worthwhile thing star breaker nice we're taking eight damage from our lethal ornament <laughs> okay you want to know something funny last night i was playing pokemon unite with sling and oh my god dude jeez i'm dead but last night i was playing pokemon unite with sling and we ended up playing some just just some normal ranked we were playing really well i ended up getting in top 10,000 actually and um we ended up with pair with a greninja i think it was j wolf kind of like how wolfie glick spells the name but there's like w o l f e that's kind of what it was and while uh while we were fighting at the end i checked if he was live and he was and I was playing Zacian, and I, I'm not the kind of, like, guy who's going to run up to you and just immediately murder you as, with, with Zacian. I think the way I play it is kind of safe in the way that I think it should be played instead of just running in and killing everybody. Because if you run in and kill everyone and you keep continuously failing, you're going to lose. And I looked in chat, and he was, like, getting really mad. Like, I don't know why he was getting so mad. He ended up having... He was our jungler, Jungler Greninja. He ended up having less damage <laughs> than the supporter what and he got mad at me and i had the most damage and i really thought at the very beginning we were kind of joking to each other because we kept doing like check it out to each other after we won i kept doing like check it out check it out check it out check it out i thought it was a joke but i go to his stream he's like actually so mad at me and i don't really know what exactly I did because apparently if you don't just go in and overcommit with Zacian people get mad at you I play it safely and just will go crazy if I need to that's how I like to play it you know that's just me that's my play style you don't gotta judge me for that Ugh. but yeah that was a funny experience now, this is also a funny experience because, oh, my hit and run switch in um, is this. And uh, we can see my 48 defense goes crazy. Well, if you switch, you don't really have to switch into this. So if you want to... That doesn't even kill me. Um, you know, I really thought... I was dead there.
Alright, well, I'm gonna get Swift Hooked. Uh, I'm gonna go Rotera, because it completely walls Sumo. A lot of things wall Sumo, and it's kind of sad. Your Sumo's really cool. And I kind of miss using Syrup, being able to kind of just send it in and do huge amounts of damage. I really think Sumo is gonna be good on, like, Trick Room teams. Well, you're switching to this is Glubby. Or Volt Enchant. Alrighty. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if this works out. Go, Bengalox! Hit him with a Star Breaker! Don't go, Metalytra. Come on. Okay, that did like four damage. Okay. Actually, I'm fine with being poisoned here. Rather than having to deal with, um, this. I'm gonna hit and run now, because they realize, oh, it's Galvanize. Right? They're, they're gonna go into, like, something else. Oh, it's Protect Stall, Glubby. Okay. It's Protect Stall. Okay. You just want your health back. I mean, I have Compost, so I'm not worried. But I gotta get rid of this Glubby, like, very quickly. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the Glubby. Let me see if he's Siren Song. Okay, well he... Gem Blasts, that's fine. So you're... What? Why are you... Gem Blast Hex? Is that what you are? Crystal Spirit's not the worst, I'll be honest. Ooh, a new uh, Extinct. Ooh! Yo! Check it out. Wait, wait. The, the new uh, thingy came up. It's pro everyone's probably going to have seen it by now. But, uh, can you appear? There it is. Yo, look, dude. Yo. Oh, crap. Oh, that's Jalopy, isn't it? <laughs> You're, what is your switch into this, actually? Protect stalling? All right, then. Ugh, come on, man. Stop protecting. That's sick, though. Dude, your protect stall is not gonna save you. Bruh, stop. Stop. Seriously, your Protect Belch Glubby doesn't do anything versus Clangatang. Are you serious? That's fair, honestly. Bruh, this is the most annoying freaking Glubby. You're just gonna Protect now. Ugh. At least now I can, like, hit it. Ugh, Leaf Blade. God! Is it like an eggshell? Jeez. That's a swift hook, and um, my switch into it uh, doesn't really exist. So I can really only go in Paraflame at this point. I might have to just commit in Paraflame because I kept getting like abused. I don't think a plus two Chi Blast even takes out uh, Sumo in this range. Cause I, I'll be able to live this hit, but I'll be I can heal up here. So now I'm plus two plus two. I severely doubt Chi Blast takes this thing down. So let's see. I need to actually hit it, or this is not worth it. Okay, wasn't even worth it. Cause I didn't even hit it. Okay, so now I get I just get swept by this because I can't deal with it. Nice. I mean maybe. Uh, maybe my quick strike could do enough with Bengalox plus Springling. 
But then I don't really know how else I can beat the Metalytra. Why are you double challenging? Are you just gonna swift hook? I mean, I'm pretty sure swift hook's coming out, but that doesn't kill me. It does kill me. I entirely blame the fact I missed G Blast, or else this thing would have been dead. -ed, ed. Um, I think no. There's no way we can win with Springling, right? There's no way. So the best option is to go into Springling. And quick strike, and then quick strike with Bengalox. Yeah. The fact that I missed the Shatter on Glubby, and then I missed the Chi Blast on Sumo, is why this game happened. You know, there is like the slightest bit of hope. But it does, it's very slight. It's like, so slight. It entirely depends on what the Metal Elytra is. But it's not a misprint hinge rate. It's clearly just a misprint. So, ain't no way. <laughs> just saying. Ain't no way. Yeah, he knows. You know, there's literally only one way to settle this and click this. And if this, if this doesn't work, um, yeah. Yeah, there was not that much that I could do there. I don't really know what's up with me finding all the, like, starters and stuff today, but I'm entirely down if it means that this guy only has one electric type and one earth type. All I realistically need to do is, like, go Bengalox and just... Let's see. Can I... Will this work, actually? Hold up. Is it Rush? Is If it's not Rush, I kill this immediately. I can just immediately kill this sick. Okay. What do you let me though? Or would you get overconfident that, oh my god, he's in a prevo. He sucks. Maybe it's he has that mentality. Never mind. Um, I've learned he does not have the mentality. That he does not have that mentality. How do I beat this? That's a question I need answered very quickly. Or the game could be over in an instant. Oh my god, this person's smart. Oh my god. Oh, it's 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 a fake. Okay, well you're switching. Let me hit and run. Unless you see the quad effective. He saw the quad effective move. And he's like, oh, I need a It's pretty much that's like exactly how he's like, oh my god, I need to collect the quad effective move. It means it does so much damage. I guarantee you that's what's going through his brain. Honestly, I could win with Bengalox. Like, I could seriously win with Bengalox this game. I just need to kill this Clangatang. So that's what I'm gonna do. Who cares if I, like, completely die to, uh, like, Incinelisk now? Who cares? It's all for the showcase, right? It's all for the showcase. I can go Rotera now, and now I can hit and run. Or you're probably just gonna quick strike, right? It's fine. I don't really care if you do. Never mind. Okay. Now we gotta kill Zappa, which we can with Rotera. Um, I'll go Bengalox. Let's see. Will this work out, or will just? I think I need chip on this before I can actually go ahead and kill. I'm gonna go Rotera. I need chip on that before I can actually go for the kill, so. Okay, he went fireball. Okay, I was so scared he went chaotic. He actually crits me. Luckily, he didn't get the burn. I'd rather him crit me than get burn. I'll shatter then. Nice! Okay, I'm leaving everything at 1 HP. Like, stop. Okay, now I can't beat the Zapoir. I mean, I can. But then in Paraflame, I'm going to have to kill it. Alright. Bengalox. Let's go, man. You're up. Let me disarm, because I don't think I've clicked to disarm yet. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. If we kill this, Ben Galox wins instantly. So that is honestly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to commit to it. He's crit me like 11 times. This isn't fair. Okay, perfect. Oh my god, he might have actually just let me kill it. Give me one more hit. And the game is over. And Bengalox can win. Alright. Now the question on my mind is, would Starbreaker one-shot Fruitoad? Go Fruitoad, actually. That'd be a dream come true if you win Fruitoad. I am not on a call with this guy. I swear I'm not on a call with this guy. Okay, I'm gonna let... Actually... Yeah, I'm actually just gonna Opal. So I can get it low enough to where I know Starbreaker would kill. Yeah, Starbreaker kills there. time come on this is the moment i've been waiting for this entire freaking showcase is ben Galox just winning that's right that's right ben Galox. The, the 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 pre-evo that could honestly one of the better pre-evos i may add and you do not outspeed me ain't no way i i doubt you outspeed me yep and that's a one shot Ben Galox. Ben Galox. Honestly, went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. I thought I was going to die like every two seconds, but it looks like it actually late game cleaned, and I am, like, very happy with the results. GG's. And with that, it's going to be any of this showcase. Hopefully that you guys did enjoy, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It is very helpful. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this thing would not be as good as it was. Turns out, okay, it was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. And I really didn't expect that. I expected it to do like a little bit of work, but it really did more than I thought. So I'm honestly really happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Hopefully that you guys did enjoy, and I would rate it, eh, I'd go like a 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10-ish. I wouldn't recommend using it over Zapuera though. But yeah. Hopefully everyone did enjoy, and I'll see everybody in the next one. Bye-bye!